Hello music lovers, welcome back to the channel. My Black Friday special finally showed up on March 10th. Uh, so give you an idea of how long we had to wait for this. It's a Mitchell NV100 short scale bass. So let's give it a look. Get out of this box. Oops, didn't mean to rip it. Okay. And then, our trust rod wrenches. With the supply problem, supply chain problems we've had in the last year, it's amazing. This took this long to get here, but maybe it'll be well worth the wait. Let's find out. Okay, there we go. Let me have a cloth, please, here. Thank you. Okay. Let me get this off. Nice. Oh, the inlays are very pretty. Quite nice. Let's see here. Okay. Very lovely color. A nice orange. Uh, hmm. Let's see. What do we have here? Fred ends actually feel pretty good. Not very sharp. That's nice. We got two pickups. Again, that's nice. Let's get this stuff off. I love the abalone inlays. They're really quite pretty. And got a nice satin finish neck that feels really nice. Nice and smooth. Volume uh, knobs feel not standard. We worked out a little bit. Um, it's got the standard bridge you would see on most bases like this. Okay, let's get it tuned up and see what it sounds like. Well, been a couple of weeks. Uh, I went to set it up and this is where it comes to the point of this base should probably be returned. I'm going to keep it because I can fix it, but if uh, you were to purchase it, I would say send it back. It had, um, the action is super high after lowering the bridge, the saddles all the way down. I can only get about three, mil three millimeter action at the 12th fret. Uh, you want between two and two and a half on it short face like this uh, in one and a half to two on the high side, which uh, it's not even close. Um, I can shim the neck and fix it, but if you were to get this, you really should just send it back. And also when I went to peel the plastic off the back plate, the screws literally pulled out of the face of the guitar. They were stripped out. Just removing the plastic ripped them out. So honestly, uh, this is really kind of a subpar performance from a manufacturer. I mean, something like this really shouldn't have been shipped can't really blame the uh, reseller because honestly this is a manufacturing issue uh, the neck having you can kind of look at the body joint on the neck and see that there's an improper angle going on there uh, like I said they were these were back ordered for three months and if you had waited three months to get this you'd be highly disappointed uh, like I said I'm gonna fix it it was $180 instrument that I got for 85 bucks on Black Friday and uh, or $90 maybe but regardless, this shouldn't have gone out. I was really hoping to be able to play this for you, but first I'm actually gonna to have to take it apart, fix the strip screws, put a, a neck shim in it, um, probably see what else is wrong with it. It could have electronic problems or whatnot. I wouldn't know at this point, so there you go. Uh, yeah, if you buy an instrument like this, send it back. Don't just deal with it like I did. Uh, which also says something for ordering from somewhere like Sweetwater. They actually take the time to sort of set the instruments up when you order them. And that's probably a valuable service in this case. So, you know, there you go. 